Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about polynomials. Before we learn polynomials, we need to learn first these two important terms in mathematics. And these are the expressions and terms. Expression is a combination of a number and a variable using operators such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, and other mathematical operators. These are some examples of expression. And because these terms have a variable and a number combined, therefore, we can call it as algebraic expression. In algebra, terms are either a single number or a variable or a number and variable multiplied together. So in the algebraic expression, x plus 3, x is a term and 3 also is a term. Therefore, we have two terms. While in the algebraic expression, 3x cubed plus 4y squared minus 2, it has three terms, the 3x cubed, 4y squared, and 2. So why do we need to learn these two mathematical terms first before we can learn the concept of polynomial? It is because polynomials are algebraic expressions that contain any number of terms combined by using mathematical operators such as addition and subtraction. So if you have an algebraic expression with one term, two terms, three terms, or more terms, they are called polynomials. Polynomials also come from the word poly, which means many, and nomial, which means terms. These are some examples of polynomials. Polynomials also have different names based on the number of terms. So if you have an expression with one term, it is called monomial. If you have an expression with two terms, it is called binomial. And an expression with three terms is called trinomial. If we have an expression 4x, this is called a monomial. Even a whole number like number 3, for example, is called monomial. x minus 2 is an example of binomial because it has two terms, which is the x and 2. And 3xy squared minus 2x plus 5 is an example of trinomial because it has three terms so that's what polynomials is all about but did you know that there is an important property of terms and polynomials and this is called the degree so if you're imagining the degree which measures angles or temperature i'm sorry to disappoint you but that's not the degree i was talking about degree of a term is determined by the power of the variable so if you have a term x squared then we can say that the degree of the term is 2 or it is a second degree term or we have a term 9x cubed the power of the variable is 3 so it is a third degree term what if we have a term with more than one variable how can we determine the degree of the term good question right now if we have a term like this all we have to do is to add up all the powers of each variable to get the degree of that term so in this case the variables has a power of 3 and 2 therefore it has a degree of 3 plus 2 which is 5 or fifth degree term and now let's move to polynomials. So in polynomials, we need to determine the degree of the highest term. If we have a polynomial 7x cubed plus x squared minus 5, then this polynomial is a third degree polynomial since the highest degree term has a power of 3. Another important reason why we need to learn the degree of terms is because it helps us to decide the arrangement in writing polynomials for example 
we have a polynomial with five terms all we have to do is rearrange the terms from highest degree to lowest so for this example will become 9x to the power 4 plus 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 5 and this example is a fourth degree polynomial so now that you already learned what polynomials are all about let's try to answer these problems so what is the degree of this polynomial 8x to the power 5 minus 3x to the power 4 plus 7x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 Correct, this is a 5th degree polynomial. Now how about this problem? How many terms do this polynomial have? 3x to the 4th plus 7x cubed minus 5. That's right, this polynomial has three terms. Notice that the question is asking how many terms, not the degree of terms. So we need to be careful in reading the problem. Now for the last problem. How many terms do this polynomial have? And what is the degree of this polynomial? 3x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed minus 2xy mm -hmm. Yes, well done. The polynomial has three terms and it is a fourth degree polynomial So that's what polynomials are all about. Easy, right? On our next video, we will try to solve polynomials. That's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about polynomials. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.